Welcome to the Mega Meeple. Uh, this is a unboxing and a review of Restoration Games Stop Thief. Now, for those of us who grew up in the 80s, uh, you would remember Stop Thief. Back, uh, this is originally done in 1979. It was one of the first hidden movement games. And Restoration Games uh, kind of rebooted it. Upgraded the uh, components, the mechanics. Uh, it's a app-driven game, and uh, they did a pretty stellar job of it. The board is excellent. Uh, and I'm going to go over uh, some of the additions and improvements that the Restoration Games made to Stop Thief. I was uh, initially concerned that, uh, in fact. Uh, one of my very first podcast episodes that you could uh, listen to on iTunes and subscribe. Uh, it's also on our website, www.megameeple.com. Uh, in the episode called Don't Mess With My Childhood, uh, I voiced uh, some concerns when I first heard about this game, thinking that, oh God, please don't ruin this. Don't mess this thing up. And uh, actually, when I, I kick-started the game, received it, and I immediately uh, issued a public apology in episode, I think it was 16, uh, where I apologized to uh, to Rob Davio and Restoration Games and stuff like that and uh, said that they got really, in, really encouraged by this. Pretty neat. One of the uh, little improves, improvements that they made was that the meeples actually kind of resembled the investigators who who uh whose deck is that color so if you look at the the, the color decks and the uh, uh investigators that correspond with these colored meeples they uh, the meeples actually look like their little illustration on their id card it's pretty neat now another improvement that they made to this version is that each investigator has their own unique deck as well as their own unique ability uh, in the original 79 version it was basically uh you rolled dice in order to move and every investigator was out you know for themselves trying to uh get within two spaces of where they believe the the thief is to make an arrest so but this one uh the mechanics and the abilities is dictated by the deck that that particular investigator has. And one really big improvement was the money. They uh, basically, the, the original 79 version had the, uh, the old paper Monopoly money, uh, which was pretty, it was okay at the time, but, you know, they definitely improved uh, the the money in this version because it is uh, actual cardstock not that flimsy monopoly paper crap and each investigator starts out with uh, three thousand dollars now these are the decks that each investigator has uh, and each one has their own specific ability like the blue player can uh, move through windows uh, the green player uh, can, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, get uh, $1,000 from another investigator. And the black player can uh, move the, the first three spaces moving outside of the building are free. So that's, that's one of the, uh, the additions that they made to this version. Because in original 79, you just rolled dice, and that's how you moved. This one, each uh, investigator has their own deck, uh, and their movements are ranged in uh, different values. And then each one has a specific ability that they could use. And then these are the investigator cards. As you can, and if you compare these to the meeples, they, 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 they do a pretty good uh, rendition. And as you can see, these are the thieves, and each one has their own reward. Some of them have certain conditions that are met 
uh, during uh, the hunt and uh, when you uh, when you actually arrest them and catch them. And depending on what level difficulty you're playing on, uh, the winning conditions are different. And you can even custom make uh, the settings in the app. And I'll show that uh, a little bit later on in the video. But hopefully they'll, uh, maybe some expansions later, they'll release other thieves and stuff like that with uh, different conditions. Now this is the board. Uh, the thief moves from one numbered space to the other. The investigators have to move every single space. And the spaces have to be connected by the footprints. Doesn't matter what direction you're going in, uh, but you have to move from one space to the next. And as long as you're within uh, the same space or the adjacent space of where you think the thief is, you can attempt an arrest. All right, we're going to go through the uh, Stop Thief app, which is found in the Restoration app on uh, your either I, uh, I, Apple iOS device or Android or Google or anything like that. So you just look for Restoration Games app, and you can download it for free. And... Cool little uh, music there. It has a section you could go through the different rules. Uh, you could either resume a game that's already being played or start a new game. All right, so in the settings, there's a standard where the win is by earning enough money to retire. The thief will always go through doors or windows. The thief will never ride the subway or stay in the same place. And then if you want to go to intermediate, you win by earning enough money to retire. Thief will often go through doors or windows. The thief will always take the subway when possible, but the thief will rarely stay in the same place. And then advanced, you win by capturing two thieves. Thief will often go through doors and windows. The thief will always take the subway when possible. And the thief will rarely stay in the same place. And then if you want to play the old 1979 classic version. You win by earning enough money to retire. Thief will always go through doors and windows. Will always take the subway when possible and a custom role for the thief staying in the same place and you could customize that in the uh, settings so for like standard you can either resume a game that's already in progress or start a new one and then there's some other versions of play that's going to be introduced as the app at a later time now if you want to go retro I'll go ahead. That's if you want to play the the uh, graphic interface of the original uh, handheld device that was in the original '79 version. I'll go into that a, a little bit, but difficulty standard, and we'll go through uh, what the thief is able to do or will do or potentially do during this game, and you start the game. And that the first player is uh, decided differently each game. Just depends on what the what condition shows up in the app. Turn that up a bit. Okay, so it will tell you where on the board this uh, crime has committed, and then when the person gets the uh, you pass the phone around or pass your device around. And the first thing to do is get a clue. And we're walking around. Or they're opening a door. They're going out in the street. And then uh, you could replay the last clue. 
Unfortunately, with the, the app, you could only play the previous clue. Now, I'll show you in the retro version that you could play the, the previous 10 clues. And that was also the, the case with the original 79 version. If you want to do a private tip, you know, you would see that. And then uh, before you pass it, <laughs> you got to remember, before you pass this on to the next player, hide that screen. And then if you want to make an arrest, just type in the number. Now, when you type in the number, you have to say what number you're typing in because that's public info. <gasps> and then uh, you could either, uh, if, if that was the last criminal you uh, got and uh, you had enough money to win the game, you would po you know, select either a yes or if it wasn't and you want to continue the game, just press no. Now, if you want to go back and see the route that the person, that the criminal took, just hit replay. And then uh, you could either forward it or backward it to each space. Or you could do like a, a, a slideshow type thing where you just hit play. And it will go through the route that the criminal took during this, this uh, past game. Now, if you want to do like the retro version of the 79 of what it was back then. Oops. Go into retro and start the game. Now, for those of you who played the 79 version, this looks familiar to you because you could do the clue. And these are these are noises that were in the, the original version. It goes out in the street, stays in the same spot, still in the street, takes a subway, still in the street, open up a door. Now. This is, this is the only time you're able to go back the past nine, I think it's either nine or ten, I don't know for sure, but it's, you're able to look back on the previous clues that are given. And when you did that, zero was the most recent clue. But if you want to go back, okay, that's where, that's where the initial crime it occurred then he went through the door then he went out on the street stayed this same spot out on the street took a subway and then in this version if you want to see the map you just click on that one there that that button there and then your arrest and your tips so anyway, that is how the app works with the Restoration Games version of Stop Thief.